If you're drinking your morning coffee right now, prepare to do a, a spit take. We've got potentially <laughs> catastrophic news for you. That's right. Your morning cup of joe could become a thing of the past. Experts say the main bean used to make coffee is drying up. And ABC's John Muller is here with more. Say it ain't so, John. You got that right. All you coffee drinkers out there, I am feeling your pain on this one. No matter how you like your coffee, the coffee bean may be going the way of the dinosaur. We are talking about extinction. If you believe this new study, which says coffee may be extinct sooner than you think. Thank you. Have a great From a simple well. cup of joe to a double espresso shot mocha frappuccino, it's what opens the eyes of more than half of all Americans on a daily basis. But a new study is dark with no sugar. It says climate change has the wild Arabica coffee plant headed for extinction as soon as the year 2080. Devastated is probably not too strong a word. Right now I'm addicted to coffee. And I need something that's going to give me that energy. I don't think I could live if they didn't have coffee. <laughs> Scientists from the Kew Royal Botanical Gardens ran computer models on global warming, finding if their worst estimates come true, in 68 years there would be nowhere on earth suitable for wild coffee growth. Because wild coffee ensures healthy genetic diversity, it could mean extinction of even beans grown on farms. Imagine it, a world without coffee. How would people everywhere conquer alarm clocks and survive their commutes to work? Here men such as Juan Valdez handpicked their coffee with pride. What would happen to Juan Valdez? Oh my God! Where would friends time, go to meet without coffee? And what would take coffee's place? Nearly 7 million tons of beans are produced worldwide each year. Coffee is the world's second most traded commodity behind oil. Over 80% of Americans drink it, spending on average $164 a year. Diet Coke will still be around. Like, <laughs> Maybe we can go come up with like some synthetic thing to replace it. I'd have to find another alternative source of energy. <laughs> Now, skeptics of global warming will tell you it's all tempest in a teapot, but regardless, even if the worst case scenario were to come true, that's 68 years away. So anybody enjoying their coffee this morning, take heart that we will be extinct before the coffee bean, according to this study. <laughs> Fair Make it a great enough. day. Thank you, Mullins. Enjoy your coffee. We appreciate it. We should say, though, that while we had a little bit of fun, global warming, no joke.